Drake is like his own genre. Mm -hmm. You know, every time he's on something, it just catapults to number one and it's the topic of conversation. So whatever Drake was on or what he appeared on, whether it's In My Feelings, the Black Boy JB records, they might not necessarily chart high on the billboard, but they impact. And to me, that's whatever he's on, it's the song of the summer. <laughs> What's up, geniuses? Welcome back to For The Record. I'm your host, Rob Markman. Now, I got some bad news for you. Summer is over. But I got some great news. That means it's debate time. We're going to debate song of the summer. You know, and I brought a panel of guests, friends of mine. We're just going to have this all out debate. First up, we got from the Rat Radar podcast, my man, Brian, B. Miller. Brian, what's what up? What up, Rob? Everything is good. Yes, sir. N next up, we have... I had to bring it. We can't have a hip hop discussion without the DJ, okay? The DJ is the cornerstone of hip hop. I got the fairy vibe mother herself, <laughs> one of the hottest DJs in New York City, Miss <laughs> Milan. What's up? Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? All right, thank you for being here. And last but never ever least, we have Billboard's hip hop editor, Carl Lamar. Carl, what's going on? What's going on, man? Uh, you, we talking about in the summer. You ready for basketball season I'm with ready this LeBron to go, James? Man, LeBron got me ready to go, man. Were you always a Lakers fan, or is it? I mean, he just jumped shit. That's I'm not gonna say that. I mean, I was a fan of Kobe. All right, look, it's, see, it's, it's, getting, it's getting hot here, man. I'm gonna take you off the hot seat. We're gonna go back to songs of the summer, man. Um, yeah, I wanted to have you guys over just because, you know, this is just the thing. Like every year, we kind of like there's certain music that defines our summer. Spotify just released their list of the most streamed songs of the summer. I just want to read it. Um, Drake, you, you know that guy, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. In my feelings. 393 million streams. So it's like $20? <laughs> and 25 cents. $20, 25 cents. Maroon 5, Girls Like You is second up. Cardi B, Bad Bunny, J Balvin, I Like It is third. Juice World, Lucid Dreams. He had a hot summer and XXX and Tassion, Rest in Peace was sad, was rounded out the top five streaming songs on Spotify. Um, b I want to start with you, man. Um, and I know your team title, Rap Radar Podcast on title. Um, what were your... Um, songs of the summer. Do you agree with this list? Does it shape up with you? I think the song of the summer is not necessarily defined by a song, it's just by a person. I just say Drake. Drake is like his own genre. You know, every time he's on something, it just catapults to number one and it's the topic of conversation. So whatever Drake was on or what he appeared on, whether it's In My Feelings, the Black Boy JB records, they might not necessarily chart high on the billboard, but they impact. And to me, that's whatever he's on, it's the song of the summer. All right. So you're saying Drake kind of defined the Drake. summer. Ms. Milan, you are out in these streets, you are in these clubs, you are DJing, you're doing these mixes. So you, you might have, you know, data is nice, and streaming data is nice, but you might have the best test case because you see what the people are actually rocking yeah, to. Yeah, definitely. Song of the summer. What is the song of the summer for you? Um, I'm going to have to agree with B. Dot here. In my feelings was definitely the viral sensation of the summer. Like literally the dance itself is what made the song in my opinion so shout out to Shiggy and the Shiggy Challenge and definitely I would have to say another pick of mine personally that's not on the list would have to be Sheck West, Mo Mamba. Mm. The energy in that song is absolutely amazing. The kid's energy himself is amazing so that definitely for me was like one of my top picks for the summer. Shout out to Shaq. Were yeah. people actually in the club doing the, the, the Shiggy dance? Were, were oh they yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> Literally like Kiki, do you love yeah. me? Are you ready? Everyone All was doing it. like, All even my it. mom called me was like, what's that song y'all be singing? I'm like, in my feelings, ma. You know what I'm saying? So, so it, was, it wasn't just in traffic. Nah, on, it on was, the freeway, they was actually out in the clubs doing it too. Literally, you dropped it and the place went crazy. Mm -hmm. shout, shout out to Shiggy. Oh, call, man. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. um, you know, we talk about these Spotify streaming, right? Um, you know, but one of the the, the true tried tried and true marks and measures of a hot song are the Billboard charts. You're sitting very close to that chart, man. What what do you feel? I mean, like? the, it's like what B Dot was saying, man. Drake has just been crushing 2018 period. It's not even the yeah. summer. Yeah. It's just like 2018 period because you got in my feelings seven straight weeks at number one. Mm -hmm. Then you got God's plan, which is at 11. Mm -hmm. Then you have Nice for What, which is at eight. So right now, Drake is like the third artist of all time. Wait, they, they say he's breathing down um, Usher's neck? Usher. Usher got 28 weeks okay. at number one in 2004 for the whole calendar year. Year's not even over. Drake had 26 weeks all together at number one. So and we got like, what, Four months left, right? Wow. You know what I mean. So it's kind of crazy it what what Drizzy has been doing, and with that amount of time left and the singles that he had, like nonstop was already flirting with number one. It was number two. Who's to say he can't 
crush Usher's 28 weeks. You know what I mean? So it was crazy. Right. Definitely new rules. Um, let me ask you a question though. When Scorpion dropped, um, because he had so much momentum with, with God's plan, nice for what, a lot of momentum. Did you know when you heard Scorpion that In My Feelings was going to take off the way it did? I did it. You know what? I'm going to admit it. I, I'm going to be truthful and honest because you could go back to the tape. Um, In My Feelings wasn't a standout initially. I'm talking about first, second, third listening for Scorpion. I I didn't necessarily see that coming. It, it took a while for that. To I didn't think up. it was going to be a number one, but I did think for side B it was a banger. I yeah. thought that and Blue Tent, I was like, okay, he, he got something special Blue Tent here. Is hard, Blue Tent is hard. That mm-hmm. after Dark. And it's funny because I think Daytuan, Daytuan Thomas over at Vibe, I yep. saw him tweet it and he called it. He was like, in my feelings, this this might be the one. Mm-hmm. And that's before Everything. it took it took right, off. Right. You know, um, but the way it took off, it's like what she was saying with Shiggy. Yeah. It's crazy because you got people that don't even speak English. You got people doing the in my feelings challenge outside mm-hmm. of the country. As long as they can identify with the dance, you're good to go. I saw B Dot's best friend, um, Will Smith. Shout out to William. Yeah, Will. William. Hey, William Style. Um, so what what do we attribute to the success of of In My Feelings, right? Is the song enough? Is it is the beat and the lyrics enough? Did it need the dance to get there? Like I think it was the perfect storm of things. I mean, the song by itself, I didn't necessarily gravitate towards it when I heard it initially, but I think the dance just kind of took it over the hump. I think it was going to be what it was going to be regardless, but when you have some sort of viral attachment to it, you know, everything takes off. History has shown that from the Macarena to now. Right, so, right. Yeah. I agree. Definitely. Let's talk about Barty. Cardi Barty. B. Um, <laughs> Cardi arguably had the song of the summer last year with Bodak, right? Mm-hmm. Like, And if it wasn't your top, it was definitely in contention. Um, it's kind of hard when, when you're kind of first single... It wasn't her first single, but it was her first major single. Um, goes number one. Where do you go from there? Next year, next summer, she has another one with I Like It. I Like It hit number one, right? Um, what about Cardi's summer this year? Yo, Cardi, man, she's she's been on one, man. You got the, the Maroon 5 record. She's been sitting in the top five for the last month and change. Like, literally, uh, the Maroon 5 record number two. Right now, I Like It number three. So she's been holding it down. I think ever since the whole finesse record came about, Mm -hmm. she really showed, okay, I can mess around in the pop world and give you a a, a dope 16 and help your record elevate to higher heights. Because when we heard Finesse, we already knew it was a dope record. Mm -hmm. But when you heard her voice, it was like steroids. Yeah, she just just sprinkled that that verse and then the video just popped. Yeah, definitely. So I think a lot of these pop artists, they know now, they're like, yo, we got Cardi on a record. It's just going to elevate even more. Well, let's talk about Maroon 5 because Maroon 5 got Cardi on the record. Um, this year, um, can I just say, and y'all could agree, hey Maroon Five, the jig is up. <laughs> the Maroon Five Chico, like if we, if we talk about, look, last year they put SZA on what lovers do. Right. They know what time it is. Future of Cole, they had ASAP Rocky and Whiskey. Before that was Kendrick Lamar and Don't Want to Know. Wiz Khalifa on payphones. Mm. Like Maroon Five is just like they figured who's it out. the hottest yep. person in Irving, yeah. and yep. let's go. Right, it's, it's a testament to hip hop and its greatness. You know the fact that. We're, they're coming to us. We're not necessarily going to them. They want our mojo. So I think they know what they're doing. They definitely do. I do agree. They definitely <laughs> yes. do. Do these Maroon 5 records slap though? They're streamed a lot. Are I'm not going to lie. The, the one with... No, nah, I'm not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to nah. lie. Nah, it's not. I think me. the girls like... I, I like the girl like you, right? I like Cardi's verse on it. I thought the video was so dope too because they grabbed every powerful woman for that video too. They had J-Lo, Ellen... Um, who else they had? Uh, Mary J. Blige. It was a star-studded affair, man. So it was just a, a perfect gumbo of everything. That that Maroon Five Chico. Let, let, <laughs> let, let, let's use our crystal balls and go into the future a little bit, right? Um, next summer, who is Maroon Five calling for that feature to to, to, to end up on these charts again? That's a Rob good question. Rob, <laughs> Rob with the Smooth Sixteen. <laughs> Not if they want to chart. <laughs> <laughs> Heard what Young Bird said. <laughs> nah, man. Um, but man, seriously, that's, like, that's that's a good question. Do you swear, Chance the Rapper. I'm calling it right now. I think it's Chance the Rapper. Chance. I can yeah. see that happen. I can see that happen too. Defi- that definitely makes a perfect mix for Maroon Five. Chance. That's that's a hit. That's a hit. They wasn't even yeah. thinking about it, but I know Adam is probably watching this right now. You know what? <laughs> that's good, right? Call Pat the manager. And you, right and now. And you never know with Wiz too, man. Wiz is good for a, a great pop verse. 
Right. So he, you could always call on him and he'll give you something dope. But that's dope. the beauty of, you know, the music games. Like, you never know. Like, last yeah. year we weren't talking, like, about Cardi B like this. And now she's on Dominating top of the world. everything. She's a titan, man. Right. Yeah. Well, well, somebody who else we weren't talking about last year, and this song is old. It came out about a year ago. Nobody's brought up, but LMA booed up. Mm. Mm. Definitely, like, right? I, I felt like that was going to be the song of the summer before this Drake guy came along and said, it you know what? It definitely was. Hold this. Everyone was, <laughs> that was the original in my feelings. You know what I'm saying? Right. They definitely was in my feelings with the boot up. Mm. So that song, you could not, everywhere you went, in the clubs, it was like, I had literally like gangsters, like, yo, you got that boot up? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I got you, beloved. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> definitely, I thought she, you know, would have been in the top, but like, be that said, Drake effect is like, damn, once he's on it, is it's But to your point though, I think about the, the LA the boot up record, and I'll say to myself a lot of times, like, even though we are talking about the song of the summer, do song of the summers really exist anymore? Because it's like that song dropped springish and spilled into the summer. And it seems like that's happening a lot. Well let 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 call jump in on this because I I have a theory and like you can't for a song of the summer. Very rarely, I think, does it drop like in the June twenty first. Yeah, you need a while to heat summer. up. Right? It, it just right. it just ends up following through. Like the LMA record came out twenty seventeen. Right. Mm. You know that's true. Yeah, it came out twenty seventeen, and it started just bubbling all the way to the summer. Right. You know, right. I, I feel like with LMA's record, I, I might be crazy for this, but I was comparing it to Miguel the Dorn. I think it has that potential. Mm. It does years from now. To really be like, that's the go-to record at the cookout. Let, 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 let's, talk, let's talk about, you mentioned Miguel is doing, we're going to go back a little bit, this is a tangent. But do you remember, I remember that year, the R&B record of the summer for that year was Usher Climax. Mm. Like Usher Climax was a problem and yeah. then... Adorn started to heat up, and we forgot all about Climax. It was the go-to record at the barbecue, man. You right. know, and I, and I think Ella May's boot up has that potential. When you go to the barbecue, it's gonna be a go-to song at the wedding, at the reception. Yeah. I, I really think it has that potential to have that longevity. Yeah, twenty yeah. years down the line, we are gonna be like, yo, remember that song? Yeah, yeah that was my jam. Yep. You know, yep. like. Let's talk about these remixes. Will we remember any of these LMA remixes? I mean, we definitely. We, Plies had one. T Pain had one. Plies should have been the official him. remix. Plies should have been the official remix. I say that. Plot, listen, Plot? man. Plies bodied his verse. Well, you gonna put some respect been. on Plies' name. Yeah, that's what I see your face. T Pain and Plies, I agree with that. With a good remix, that would have right. been that record. Perfect. I think would have been a better remix than the Nicki and Quavo. Nicki and Quavo. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that official remix too much. I think the T Pain joint stood out a little bit more, but. These days, remixes come and go, you know? Yeah. So. How many songs do you make about a booty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to quote the great T-Pain. Also, Fab dropped a Fab remix. Too, I, yeah. I don't know that that quite hit the mark, but I agree. Mm. Well, Plies was the first one. Plies, like, really saw the potential in the record. Of course. Because Plies jumped mm -hmm. on it before yeah. it even started heating up. I feel like Plies might have came, his version might have just hit a little bit too early. Mm. Yeah. Hit a quarter. A, a yeah, way. definitely. I agree with that. But you really had gangsters in the club singing this, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yo, my <laughs> you know what I'm um, another guy I want to talk about, um, Tiger. Tiger. Mm. Oh yes, the resurgence of Tiger. Come back. First of all, we're gonna talk about yeah. Tiger. We could be. We're gonna be honest on this show. Like I said, I, I didn't see you in my feelings rising the way it did. I'm very honest. I can admit when I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who here has seen this resurgence of Tiger? Happen? Listen, I don't even think Tiger saw this resurgence. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. That's a fact. And you would be a hater, a player hater to deny this record. When I first heard it, I was reluctant to press play. But when I did, I was like, yo, it goes. This song goes, man. And we're talking about taste. We're talking yes. about taste. Yes. And I think it's just a great, I think Tiger has found his lane and hopefully he sticks with it. Yeah. Well, the thing about Tiger is that he already was like, in my opinion, dominating like strip clubs and stuff like that. Mm. You know, Rack City, Rack City and City. Faded and yeah. you know, hookah. in the beginning, Hookah. You know, pass me the Hookah. Everyone was singing, you know, his songs. But unfortunately, you know, being tied to the drama overshadowed, you mm -hmm. know, the music and we wasn't hearing a lot from him. So this song definitely was like a, you you can't hate on it. Like, can't, and, can't. and I always Undemotive. feel like it's always a time and period where it's always fun to make fun of somebody. And Tiger was that like, it was fun to make mm -hmm. fun of him. Absolutely. But now that he's yeah. back, it's like, hoo-hoo-hoo. That beat is too crazy, like, man. Like, literally, and I, yeah. I was saying, like, Tiger is legit the cat with nine lives. Like, <laughs> nah, that's real talk. Like, that's a bar. You, that's yeah. a, you know what I mean? Like, not, that's real talk because I always say he's the type that's one hit away. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, you mentioned Rack City. 
you got to remember also the collabs he had with Chris. He had Deuces, yeah. Loyal. You know, he he knows how to pen these fun verses. It was just a matter of time. Now you got a double platinum record that's still sitting in the top ten. And the L.A. Leakers freestyle. Oh yeah, over yeah, Big Bang. That. He killed that Come Big Bang freestyle. Be that? Did you go back and erase all your old tweets this entire guy? I just want to know. <laughs> no, Rob. We're going to talk about that, Rob. <laughs> Ew. Nah, Wait, I'm just joking. I but also, you on. you can't deny Tiger. Even the Swish record. I think that was just a great follow up. You know, I don't know if I want a Tiger album, but I'd like Tiger singles. He can kind of take the flow rider approach and yeah. just keep releasing these little heaters here Straight and there. Straight singles. Let's talk about the, the, the newcomers for a second. Um, Juice World, mm-hmm. um, Lucid Dreams. Are you able to spend that in the club, Milan? It depends on the environment because mm-hmm. mostly you'll get like the younger crowds, you know, that really want to hear Juice World and really want to, you know, mosh pit to it. I'm like, it's such an emo song to mosh pit, but hey, we're going to do it if you want it. But definitely Juice World, his his song is 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 hitting. Plus it is a sample from Sting, um, Sting mm-hmm. already. So it's kind of like familiar. Even some old school cast, they'll hear the beginning like, oh, what is this? I'm like, wait, who is this? I think it's Nas you know? every time I hear I was about to say Nas, Nas the message. When <laughs> you're from Queens, so that's your But yeah, but it's Nas, a Nas. Exactly. Like right. literally, I keep thinking I'm gonna listen to a Nas verse, but waiting know. for Nas to come yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> I hear your channel for my yeah. That was dope because my 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 driving in the car, my son actually, I was like, oh, that's that Nas record, and then he was like, yo, I want to hear it. So he, he, I played him the original Nas and, and, and the Juice it's World. It's an and educating got, piece. Yeah. Right. You can consider that. Nas um, should get on the remix for that. That would be. I don't know. Not don't after know. after that Nas album. <laughs> oh man, that's a whole I, different. I, yeah, I want to hear whatever Swiss <laughs> is holding on to. I want to hear. Yeah. Um, um, XXX man, um, tragic man. Like we lost him, not without his problems and his issues and his controversies, but um, sad also emerged on on Spotify's list as, as one of the most streamed. Um. How much of that is about the song? How much of that is after you know people are celebrated after they yeah. they pass? Um, I feel like mean? I feel like so I, I personally thought you know when I listened to the the question mark album I already thought Sad was a highlight like the record was already in the top ten before he passed so I think it it peaked at six and then right after he passed it shot to number one mm-hmm. so I already thought like it was it was it was catchy I already knew the kids of of the new generation was gonna appreciate it. So I think it's a combination of one, him having an, an incredible legacy to leave at 20, you know, to leave with a number one album, to leave with a, his debut album at number two. The kids, they they latched on to him so yeah. early. Like if you go to freaking Ski Mask show, uh, I just saw Lil Xan at Hot 100 Fest, they perform his records. These kids are chanting yeah. like literally. the shit. And you ask any of these kids, they look at him like, it's not blasphemous for these kids to say, yo, he's their Tupac. Right, I've heard really? that before. I could, I could see why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely see the. A lot of people get mad at the correlation, but I see the correlation. But you know, he he's affected so many lives in in, yeah. in such a positive way with some of his records. Like I've heard people my age be like, "Yo, you know, this dude, this young kid saved me from killing myself." Right. Wow. You know, so it's it's crazy, man. I think I think it's not only his passing, but just him able to craft those kind of records that hit home. Right. That's so, you know, I like agree. okay. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, um, you know, it's it's unfortunate and it's sad, no pun intended, when you know, dead rappers get better promotion, right. and that song was a highlight, it's a good song, but I just think the death just took it over the hump and you know it catapulted to where it is. That I think it went number one, yeah, right. um, on Billboard. So well, he, he was number one too while while he was still right, yeah, alive. But um, after the you know after his passing, you know, the song catapulted to where it was yeah, at. Record so. went number one, right? He always mm-hmm. had a big big influence on the younger generation for sure. Like even still to this day, look at me. You could play that now and the still f- rings. That it's moonlight, gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be crazy. So mm-hmm. it's unfortunate. R.I.P. It, it was definitely um, a hot summer. What where do you rank it? Like when you when you think about like traditional songs of the summer, what are some of the just beat out? I'll start with you. Songs of the summer that that you you know just associate with summer, and then where does this kind of rank for you? Uh, like classic songs, yeah. Or yeah. Just in general, I mean, you think of summer. I think you always go to my friend Will Smith's song "Summertime." That's a classic. Oh, That's the. Yo, can you call Will now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> got him on the speed dial. But um, nah, I just you know think of summertime Will Smith. Um, I think of classic Jay Z records. I think of Summer Jam, Hot ninety seven, that event. You know the songs I used to drop around that time frame. Ooh, best of me, ooh, that's what yeah. I'm like you just, it takes you literally back. You might not necessarily remember when they dropped, but you remember 
where you were, how you felt, what the weather was like. Mm -hmm. So those songs in particular just. I know I had a jersey dress from Best of Me. The blue one? Ah, the blue one. Shout out to Maya. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I think some records like it's like what Dot was saying, man. I think a PSA still ringing, mm. you know, uh, in the For club. For summer, where was you? In no, I'm Marcy? saying, I'm saying. <laughs> you need to get out, my <laughs> brother. He's in Marcy Pool. You know, and, but even even like we we to go back to Drake, I think of like moments when I'm in the club. I remember I'm on one was right. was ringing Ooh. crazy. Mm. I remember even Stay Scheming was was oh, yeah. ringing crazy. Zero to one hundred. Zero he, to one hundred. He, he really crazy. in the street. That Stay. I mean, it's a Stay Scheming the summer record, but it was like. There's a lot of edge to that right Yeah, but it was yeah. still... Nah, you had that line, uh, what was it, the Kobe line? Yeah, yeah you were the women shooting in the gym. Turn the music down, everyone was singing yeah. that part right yeah. there. All right, so I mean, and then Drake, in my feelings, like it kind of feels like that is going to measure up. Like, the song is not going to go away. We'll be here five years from now, ten yeah. years from now at the cookout. Yeah. And then my feelings will still It's going to be an old school dance. Just, yeah, like, man. Like, <laughs> just like the, the electric heart, yeah. slide. Yep. We now doing the shiggy challenge at, at the barbecues, y'all. Yo, come here. Bring my stuff, baby. You, yeah. 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 you got shiggy busting it at you the know? garden. We're rocking the Michael Jackson outfit. Right. That, so, that was a moment. That was a moment. Definitely going to be something. Milan, you, you shouted out um, Sheck West with Mo Bamba. Yeah. You know, Carl, I know again. You sit right next to the Billboard charts. He actually, this is the guy behind the charts. He's he, so uh, he's about to. I know the record is about to be pushed to radio. I think it has the, the potential to, to crack the Hot 100, mm -hmm. um, along with Shaq. Because I was telling her before, I think Flip De Niro. I think the Leave Me Alone. Leave me alone. I think that's a very yeah. very underrated that's song in the summer. That's a dark horse record that I also mm -hmm. think has the potential to crack through. Mm -hmm. Especially with that uh, the, the deal he just got. He just got signed. Right. We, uh, the we the best. The epic so genius. I, we just did a verified yeah. on, on yeah. Flip. So check that out. So on I genius. think those two. I think Shaq and um, and Flip. Their records have the potential to crack because they're they're already boiling in the streets. Mm -hmm. So once it, they get that push from radio, it's only a matter of time. Not to mention they got the co-sign from Jersey yeah. too. Yeah. Already, so. yeah, yeah, both of them. You talk about dark horses. I I cannot leave this without mentioning my man Little Duval's smile. Oh. <laughs> He's out here. He's out here performing <laughs> with the Carters. Yes, opening up. That Weesh. song, I think, is the dark horse of the year, and it's a great song. And I'm so happy that it's Eric getting the attention. It's I'm, getting I'm not even gonna lie. I, it's so rare for me to take vacation, but I was in the Dominican Republic this summer. Mm. I'm living my best wow. life. Wow. Yeah, man. I ain't going back to work. Yeah. It's a good uh -huh. song. It's, yeah, it's a feel it's good. Great. It's you know what good. I want to say and. I thought B Dot was gonna say this because he was contractually obligated. <laughs> um, but man, I really love ape shit. Like ape, ape shit, shit. Yeah. Not ape, right. like, yes. it, I, I don't think I, I'm not gonna put it above in my feelings. I think to me in my feelings is, is the song of the summer, yeah. in my opinion. But man, that ape shit comes on and and, and Ape shit is it just feels like top five song of the year, hands yeah. down. It's a great record. I think it's from B rapping to the oh. production from Pharrell, right. the Migos influence. I mean it's a great record. I mean, she body Jade on the record. Oh, know. man. Like, Jade flow, she was crazy. Up. Her flow and delivery is A1, man. She had me like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so finally, just real quick to wrap it up. Um, I just want to call it, feels like we have a consensus, but yeah. be that song of the summer. Song of the summer, I mean, got to go to Drake, man. In my feelings. In my feelings, I have to agree. In my feelings. In my feelings. Definitely. Tiger, Chase. shout out to Tiger. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to Tiger. I, I wanted to say it too. Yeah, I just want to be different. Yeah, you got the LA <laughs> yeah. jersey on, damn man. And like, he rocked you know? it in the video. So yeah. shout out to Tiger, man. Now I wanted to say Tiger, but no, actually, it's in my feelings, Drake. There's no doubt about it. Whether you like it or not, you just have to address it. I mean, that is undeniable. It's, it's undeniable. It it's is. All right, so man, I want to thank you all for coming. Um, B dot, we can catch you on the Rat Radar podcast. New season right coming soon. Okay. That's what's up. Who we got next? Will Smith, um, <laughs> Eminem. Well, Tupac is obligated. Well, we'll see. We'll talk about it. We got the Tupac. Miss Milan, what you got coming up next? Ah, oh, man. A lot of things. Just stay tuned. The fairy vibe mother is just going to give you the vibe. Mm. Oh, oh. Out in the streets. Sprinkle it. And, and Carl, what can hey, we expect you, from you? You can just check out Billboard Hip Hop. We come with some dope content, dope interviews. So be on the lookout. Nah, that's dope. And I'm Rob Markman. Once again, this is For the Record. Thanks for watching. See you next week.